What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today there it is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker sets record for most tickets pre-sales in the first hour. Oh my god. Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers must be so mad. That's what everybody's saying. I've seen you on Twitter. I've seen all of you and the fact that I am the first thing that you think of when Star Wars breaks sales records is such a huge win for me. Thank you so much for talking about me and not even being excited for the movie you claim you're excited for. You're excited because I might be wrong in your minds. Uh, it's beautiful, so thank you. But let's talk about this for a minute. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker sets new record uh, for most pre-sales in the first hour. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting deja vu. I'm getting deja vu. I, I, I'm, I'm starting to think, oh, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. <gasps> Solo, a Star Wars story, doubled Black Panther ticket pre-sales. Huh. Huh. It's almost like the media likes to put a fake spin on everything. Now, let me be clear. Um, I am sure The Rise of Skywalker had phenomenal ticket sales. I am not trying to dispute that whatsoever. What I'm saying is you can you can always put a positive spin on any story you want. Like I said, li solo, uh, double ticket sales. Like this was Disney's marketing tool to try to tell the, the audience, hey, people are excited about this. Hey, you need to be excited for this. Everybody's excited for this. They put the Black Panther name out there because why? Because Black Panther, it here, the, the general audience hears Black Panther because Black Panther had such an amazing opening weekend. And like, oh, well, this is breaking Black Panther's sales records. We, kids, kids, wife, we have to go see this movie. Well, that's the same thing they're doing now with this. Where there's my, it breaks records. It's a pacing ahead of Endgame. You remember Endgame, right? It broke all the records. Well, Rise of Skywalker is breaking the records. So again, it is definitely doing well. There's no doubt about that. But like anything, if you look at it from a certain point of view, oh, I just did the whole Star Wars thing. Because you know how all these writers, they will say, like they'll, they'll use a, a Star Wars one-liner. I'm a Star Wars fan. Look at me. I'm using Star Wars one-liners from the movie. And then that's what I'm doing right now. Anyway, um, so we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen with this movie. I'm sure it's going to have a great opening weekend. It's freaking Star Wars movie. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to have a great opening weekend. Um, the general audience will eat it up and then we'll just have to see how it goes from there. Nobody really knows. Does it upset me that this movie might do well? No. Why would it? Like, yeah, as a fan and, and as a fan who's been very upset with Disney's treatment of these movies, do I want to see it not do good? because of how Disney has treated the fans? Absolutely. But I have no power or control over that. If individuals see this movie and want to spend their money on the movie, that's their, that's their prerogative. It has nothing to do with me because I'm not the gatekeeper of how people can form their opinions or spend their money. The SJWs, the ones that are out there be thinking I'm mad about this, they're thinking that because that's their logic. Because they get mad when something doesn't go their way. I'm not mad. I'm going to continue to make good content. The channel just hit 200,000 subscribers. And we just had a great day with all the Rise of Skywalker coverage across the board of Geeks and Gamers. So no, I'm not mad. But thank you for thinking of me. Again, the fact that I am the first thing that some of these people think of when a, when a Star Wars trailer hits speaks volumes about the state of Star Wars. You're more excited to think I'm mad than to be excited for the movie you claim you're excited for. Now, let's get to the trailer itself. Um, I did a reaction. I didn't like it. Uh, the Kylo Ren helmet situation just continues to piss me off. I know some people said I was overreacting, and if I am, I am. I will continue to overreact. I liked Kylo Ren in The Force Awakens. I liked his mask. I liked his suit. Then they broke it. I, the, the fact they took it off of The Force Awakens, I didn't like that. But then they broke the helmet in The Last Jedi. And then they repaired it, but yet he's not wearing it after it's repaired. It's stupid, and it makes no sense. Then we see this whole thing with, with uh, I, guess, I guess Finn and Rey are back to being a thing now. 
But you still got the Raylo thing, and then you got the whole, like, what's Ro- Rose and Finn and the whole Me Too thing, and but what Rose is in for one shot. It, it's so weird, man. This whole trilogy is so jacked up. Then the thing with 3PO, calling them his friends. You don't know these people, 3PO. Hey, Luke's dead. Can we address that? But you want to sit there and call these people your friends? Then the whole thing with Rey uh, hugging Leia and crying. There's no story attachment to these characters whatsoever. Um, Ray, Poe, and Finn have really never done anything together in this trilogy. Yet now they're supposed to be all buddy-buddy. And we're supposed to just buy that. Like it's, It is absolutely hilarious to watch this train wreck unfold. Uh, the situation with Palpatine... Don't do. Does anybody really believe that Palpatine was always part of the plan to be in this movie? Really? Like really? There's no way you believe that. There's no way you actually believe that. There's nothing to support Palpatine being in this movie based on the other two movies. Nothing. This is this is a pathetic retcon. Now I've heard people say, "Oh well, uh, the Phantom Menace." They complain because there's no original trilogy stuff, and then when they put a real stuff trilogy stuff in, they complain. You're lacking understanding the context. It's not as cut and dry as you're presenting it. And all of us have given a very detailed reasoning as to why it upsets us. Disney made a concerted effort to move away from the Lucas era of Star Wars because they thought they could because they thought the brand was strong enough to survive social justice. And they're finding out that it's not. So when they need the fans that they try to move away from, that's when they want to start sprinkling the elements of the OT and the PT in there. But we're too smart for that. And that is why we're upset. Understand the context and the details of the situation. Now, if you're excited for the rise of Skywalker, God bless you. If you're going to see the movie opening weekend and you want to go see it 10 times, God bless you. But... At the flip side of that, if you're not upset about it, congratulations, God bless you. And if you're going to go boycott it, congratulations, God bless you. The problem is, is there's one side of the argument that does not accept opposite opinions. And I'm not on the side that rejects opposite opinions. I'm on the side that says I'm an individualist. I respect everybody's individual right to do what they want with their money and share their own opinions. That's it. So, if you're out there, if you're ready for this movie, my opinion should mean nothing. And if the first thing you think of when this trailer comes out is, I bet Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers is mad, then you're clearly not excited like you claim you are. You're just trying to spite me, and that means I win. So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.